Hey everybody. So in my last review, I was able to get my hands on the Fafine K668. It was a budget microphone that actually had surprisingly high quality for the price. Today I have gotten my hands on the K668's counterpart, the K669, which is the mic that I am actually currently using for this review, as well as the Fafine K053. So I wanted to see how these other mics compare to the K668 in regards to background noise and quality. So just like my last review, I had each mic tested three times, one with uh, quiet computer fans, did a second test with the computer fans set to high to simulate any high noise computers anyone has, and the third test I did with my heater on to simulate any loud furnaces or anything like that that any people might have. So we're gonna go through all these tests that I did here and the way it's gonna work is I'm gonna play the loudest first followed by the second and then the last will be the quietest mic out of the three. So let's see how they compared. So the K669 was the quietest when it comes to background noise out of all three mics. Now the other two, the K668 that I reviewed last time, and the clip-on mic, the K053, were actually very similar in terms of background noise. One little thing to point out though is the K053 little clip-on mic uh, did seem to be a little bit more sensitive to uh, air flow and movement and such. So especially with the heater test, since the fan was blowing in the room and the air was moving, you could sometimes hear air hitting the mic, and it was quite noticeable. Even though the K668 that I reviewed last time and the clip-on mic, the 053, are very similar in background noise, I do say that the K668 is a little better in terms of quality in audio. The K053 clip-on mic did tend to have a little less quality in the mic, but that's to be expected with the small size and portability of it. But if you do know your way around audio editing just a tiny bit, a little bit of a noise reduction and boosting a little bit of the low end back into the audio, it didn't sound too bad. And considering the price of the mic, it, it was pretty good. Not the best, but acceptable. Here I'll play uh, the two audio clips, one unedited and then one with noise reduction and a little bit of low end boosted in. Test, test. Hello everybody, my name's Canadian Dragon and thank you for clicking on this review. Test, test. Hello everybody, my name's Canadian Dragon and thank you for clicking on this review. So as you can see, after editing it, it didn't sound horrible, it sounded decent. And with the small size of the mic, it's great for anybody who wants to do some sort of podcast on camera without having any giant microphones blocking your face or anything. You can just have the little clip on mic right there on your shirt, out of the way, and it's got decent quality. And it's portable. So I'm also just going to throw in a few other notes here I, I uh, discovered while testing these out. The clip-on mic, the K053, had a decent cord length, which I suppose is necessary if you're going to be standing in front of the camera, you want it to not be tugging tight on your shirt the whole time. It's extremely lightweight, comes with a nice strong clip, so you don't have to worry about it falling off, and it also includes a little headphone jack on top of it. 
Now it said in the manual that the headphone jack is great for people who want to plug in headphones into it and hear their own voice in the headphones as a playback or slash monitor. Now with my current computer setup, I have a lot of virtual audio cables and such to make sure all my recordings is perfect and separated. Um, when I plugged in my headphone jack into the mic, it just acted as a normal headphone jack, so all my audio started going to that headphone jack instead. In my opinion, if you wanted to have it playing back in your speakers or headphones, the best way to do it is to go into your sound settings there, find the recording device, go into its properties, and you want to go and select listen to this device and set it to your main audio system, your normal headphone jack, and then it'll just play out of there instead. Then you don't have to worry about switching headphone jacks all the time while using it. A few notes on the K669, I love the look of it, it looks so a lot more professional than its counterpart the K668. That doesn't mean I don't like the look of the K668, it's just it reminds me of something you'd see at a rock concert on stage instead of something on the studio. K669 also has a volume control which is awesome, I love just having little features like that built into the equipment. The more the better. It has a tripod included, just like its counterpart, the K668. And the quality of the sound for only being a little under 50 bucks Canadian is amazing. I love it. I'm using it right now. It sounds good, sounds crisp, blocks out a lot of background noise. If you've got the money, it is a nice upgrade from the K668. And it's also a tiny bit shorter than the K668, so it takes up even less room than that. And I thought the K668 took up very little room. Now a little note to those with mechanical keyboards, the mic does pick up the keys a tiny bit. Not as much as the K668, a tiny bit less, but it is still noticeable there. Even with noise reduction added in, you could still kind of hear the clicks in the audio. But it's not nothing horrible, it's, it's dealable. Now after testing out both mics, comparing them together, and using them for a little while, I've come to the conclusion the K669 is a 10 out of 10. It's awesome. It's got the mic or volume feature built in and it's small, sounds good. The price is less than 50 bucks. It's, it's a no-brainer to me. The K053, it's small, strong clip, stays on your shirt. It's got a little less audio quality, but with a little editing, it sounds decent and it's portable, light, and if you need something that's small and out of the way for a small price, it's good. I would give the K053 a 7 out of 10. If you have any more questions or need to know anything about the mic, you can just comment down below if you're on YouTube. Um, I'll try to answer as best as I can. If you enjoyed the review, make sure to, to uh, leave some feedback, like it if you're on YouTube and all that stuff. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.